Bienvenidos. Welcome. I'm Nido Foodie. We have a beautiful mid-October day here in southern Idaho. It's been unusually warm and a little bit unusually windy. <laughs> and uh, we'll be cooking a banana squash on the barbecue. Weighs about the size of two babies. Uh, fall harvest is pretty much underway, full swing. The wheat, the oats are off the field. Now they're digging potatoes, sugar beets. And with people's gardens, uh, the tomatoes are done, the zucchinis are done, and the last thing to come off are the squash. One of the nice things about uh, living here, I hope it's like this in other places, people raise these wonderful gardens and uh, give a lot of it away because they keep what they can use, what they can store, and give the remaining away to friends and neighbors. And uh, this squash is courtesy of Connie and Kelvin, uh, friends of mine for the last 30 plus years. And uh, they asked me if I wanted this. And so I said, sure. So I really don't have a place to store it. So I'm gonna cook the entire squash today. And what I don't eat today, I'm gonna cube up and freeze for use in stews uh, this winter. So let's get cooking. Well, I have the coal started. And these are fairly thick skinned. Take the ends off of there. I used to make a stew, elk pumpkin stew, but the pumpkin does not bring much to the table. So I'm hoping that this, uh, by cooking this squash with mesquite wood, would add some flavor. So I'm going to cut these in about two inch slices. As a kid, I didn't really have much of appreciation for squash. Didn't really know what I was missing. I'm going to save these seeds and plant them down by my pond. Just see if I can get him to volunteer grow down there without me having to do any work. So I'm going to finish slicing these up and then I'll be back and we'll get the insides cleaned out. So now basically go back through with spoon. When I was a kid, used to boil and dry the pumpkin seeds. 
boil them, bake them in the oven with salt, make my own pumpkin seeds. So that's about all there is to that. Go through each one of these, clean them out. See that that yielded quite a bit. So now I'm gonna go along here with a fork. Rough that up a little bit to help hold a little bit of olive oil that I'm gonna put on it. I don't know if that's really gonna do anything, but I'll go through there, rough them up a little bit, and the next step we'll get them oiled up and put on the barbecue. So now I'm gonna give these a quick uh, brush of olive oil. And my son accused me of using a paintbrush that does say good cook on it. Hopefully with the cooler temperatures, the flies will kind of subside a little bit. So anyway, I'll get all these done, oiled up, and we'll be ready to throw them on the barbecue. I would like to thank all my subscribers. I really appreciate it. It's been very rewarding to have this many subscribers and likes. To have that many people excited about this. It makes it a lot of fun. We're looking for 375 degrees in the barbecue. Same in your oven if you want to do this inside. 375 degrees. Really depends on the size of your chunks, uh, the length of time, basically your time and temperature. Probably a lot like a potato, probably 40, 45 minutes, maybe 50. Where you can stick a fork in it pretty easy. And that looks like that's about it. So we'll be ready to go into the barbecue. Okay, we're nice and hot. Gonna start these on their backs to begin with. They'll probably come out and move them around. Pretty close to 400 degrees. That is pretty much a full barbecue right there. See the wind's kicking up a little bit, blowing my pepper off. And 
find some of that Himalayan pink salt from Pakistan. Well, there we go. We'll, I'll start the timer. I'm going to shoot for about 40, 45 minutes at uh, 375 degrees. Then we'll be back in a minute. Let you know how it turned out. I am cooking these in direct heat. So you can definitely see where the hot spots versus the cold spots. Come in around 20 minutes or so, move them around. We're 25 minutes into the cook. As they get done, we'll pull the done ones off as they cook. See if there's still no resistance to the pork. So here it is, barbecued banana squash. It uh, does not have quite as much flavor as the uh, butternut squash. Does have more flavor than a pumpkin if you've ever baked a pumpkin. Uh, not really worth the time. But a lot of people may not like squash. I think it must be a texture thing. It sure isn't a flavor thing. But this is good. Salt, pepper, a little butter. I had some off camera. Uh, ate it pretty quick it's good so anyway there you go barbecued banana squash thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later